boys, what's happening? It's your man, Jay. Um, so, <laughs> something has come to my attention, okay? Um, and I, I really, really felt the need for us to talk about it. Now, um, as you guys know, I'm huge absolutely huge playstation advocate okay even as a pc player i support playstation all the way okay but lately they have been doing some stuff that i personally have not really vibed with so um you know please excuse all of the noise that's going on i just finished what the hell i, I just finished uh, stream and everything so if you guys hear fans and stuff that's because it's 91 degrees at 11:45 at night in Los Angeles it, it makes no sense now um I came across this article let me let me go ahead and so this article says the rumored PlayStation and Netflix team up that has been going around and about for almost a year now leaks to the best way that Sony can fight Xbox Game Pass. Now, you know what? When I read a headline like this, I get a little triggered because at any point, any time, PlayStation could decide to flip a switch and just give us hundreds of games at their disposal. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous, you know? So, last week, Netflix shocked the internet with the announcement that it has plans on adding video games to the roster of content available on its platform. Now, could you imagine the Netflix of gaming? Okay, remember when Gamefly... Wow. I'm, yo, for some of you guys, you may not be old enough, but there used to be this thing called Gamefly that was considered the Netflix of gaming. It was basically the evolution of Blockbuster. Oh my god, yo, they don't know about that either. Okay, so you would go to a facility and you would purchase a game for a limited amount of time, right? And then, almost like a library. Oh god, they don't know what a library is either. So you would take, you would check it out and you would bring it back by a posted date, okay? So, um... <laughs> With Netflix, of course, you're able to stream everything. Um, so this is this is just very interesting. So uh, considering the transform transformative impact that the subscription service has had over the world of cinema and TV, whatever shape the streaming giants plan, whatever shapes the streaming giants plans take could have major ramifications for gaming if recently unearthed internal ios assets and images are to be believed a potential partnership with playstation could be one of the cards the company intends to utilize now check this out check this out i don't think this is true and i'll tell you why i'm gonna tell you why playstation has been getting in its literal sony bag okay uh before the playstation 5 there was a lot of stuff that they could have had access to and streaming service was one of them now i've always said allow playstation plus to be able to stream various playstation and sony platform stuff sony has access to crackle they own it why not put crackle on the playstation plus like you know ecosystem why nobody has ever thought about doing that is beyond me but that's you know another conversation for another day i have too many great ideas so um i always wondered why they didn't just include a, a an ecosystem of their own where yes you could watch sony movies uh columbia movies things like that anything that sony is responsible for or partnerships with on any device on your playstation on your vita on your shit even even if they decided to go back that far they could do the psp the ps3 and the <laughs> oh man <laughs> what a time what a time so anyway uh the article continues to say having invested money into acquiring gakai in 2012 sony has spent the last decade building the netflix 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 esque <laughs> PlayStation Now service, despite being the first mainstream gaming stream service. The player base that actively subscribes to this has remained relatively slow, and there's a good reason why. The service is dog poo poo. You know, it's not great. It's not great, governor. It's not at all. And uh, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Not only that, a lot of the options that are on there, not, not the best either, so. 
the service doesn't work very well because you're literally streaming them they should allow you to do like the playstation plus and rent them for a specific amount of time but you know netflix's uh capabilities of being able to stream things maybe that might be able to help them let's see playstation home consoles have historically never struggled to sell well with the only two machines to dip below the golden 100 million sales figure being the playstation 3 and the fledgling fledgling supply constraint oh basically they're trying to say that the ps5 hasn't hit 100 million units units yet only because of covid so uh, while being below the standard set by Sony, Sony machines, the estimated 87 million or so sold of the former, which is the PlayStation 5, is still not an insignific insignificant number itself. God, my reading today. Holy shit. When it comes to PlayStation Now and Sony's attempts to sell games, uh, sell the the game streaming service to the public <laughs> there's never been a successful conversation on those numbers in conversion on those numbers into subscribers basically that they're trying to say hey even though we sold 87 million playstation 5s we're still not seeing much of a bump in playstation now service users now here's the thing here's what i would suggest Okay, and this is this is just to piggyback off of their previous decisions earlier this year. Now, uh, these mofos wanted to shut down the PSP, which they successfully did, uh, the Vita store, and the PlayStation 3 store. Now, I really think that Sony and PlayStation development needs to advance in a way to where they allow backwards compatibility through the PlayStation Now service because that's what they have it for. PlayStation Now is essentially their service of Xbox Game Pass, except Xbox Game Pass is killing it. Absolutely decimating people's laptops, computers, desktop, Xboxes, other Xboxes, and even some phones in some cases, okay? Meanwhile, PlayStation can barely get enough people to join the PlayStation Now service to realize it's still kind of funky. So, you know, incentivize this. I think they should really create another tier of PlayStation Plus a subscription that includes PlayStation Now. Imagine it. You already pay, what is it, $9.99 a month, right? And then if you get the like long one, I think it's like $6.99. And then if you get the year long one, it's technically $3.99, but you're paying for all that stuff up front. Imagine if there was a tier service, all right? Each one had, had a bronze, a silver, and a gold. Boom, 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 right? Maybe even a platinum for some of you weirdos who want to do that. Um, so imagine they had this tier system where you could pay for specific services that you would like, including but not limited to the PlayStation Now service, as well as Crackle and any other version of PlayStation View, PlayStation Now, or even the fact that, hey, they recently trademarked it again, the PlayStation Home service. If you guys are not familiar with the PlayStation Home, it's probably because you weren't old enough to actively mess around in a chat room unsupervised okay uh it was basically the playstation 3's version of like the sims meets an aol chat room and it was just the most weirdest place because you got a little avatar you got to customize them the way you want just like you do in the sims and they can walk around this virtual space and hang out and listen to music and talk to other users and you can make friends it was dope i spent an ungodly amount of time playing it's not even a game. You just walk around and you can also use, uh, you can dress your character up in collectibles from some of the games you play, such as Infamous 2. If you beat the game, you got Cole's backpack and you could equip that to your little sim thing character, whatever. So your avatar. So that was pretty fire. But now that they're bringing back this feature specifically with the PlayStation 5, I could see how this would be dope. Now, the one cool thing that PlayStation Now had that a lot of you guys maybe not even know about because you're not old enough or you just didn't vibe out that way, PlayStation Now had a service where you could go to a movie theater, a virtual movie theater, and you can hook up your headset and you could actually watch a movie live with other people. Now, sometimes they were YouTube videos, sometimes they were little, you know, all of this stuff was like pre-Sony, like pre-approved content that would be streamed here. You know what I mean? So uh, a lot of this stuff was really very uh, family oriented. So, you know, a lot of that stuff was community building. 
Okay, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. So I'm wondering how they're going to bring the Netflix experience on the PlayStation platform and make it more of a predominant thing. So um, let's read on to the art. Let's read the article a little bit more. It's against this backdrop and the power dynamic that the potential PlayStation and Netflix partnership might enable Sony to fight back against Microsoft's bulging service okay so the word that they used was not grand enough for how microsoft is really taking over this space as it stands sony has only managed to entice roughly 3.2 million active subscribers into playstation now 3.2 million out of 87 okay hold on let me what percentage is 3.2 million of 87 million it's about 3.6781 percent thank you siri 3.6 percent of users oh bro which is a drop in the ocean when compared to netflix's global spanning 207 million users now no matter what uh, no matter what shape the collaboration takes if it turns out to be real one of the biggest things sony stands to gain access to is the user base on a scale that neither platform holder could likely build alone i'm surprised they didn't go to microsoft with this first uh considering you know that just seems like the two go hand in hand especially because I'm not gonna lie, Microsoft is really doing some philanthropy out there here. They're really making sure that you can have access to your Xbox games on your phone, your 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 Zoom, your fucking your oh I'm sorry, your Zoom. <laughs> okay, Xbox is accessible. PlayStation, on the other hand, what they're doing is throwing their first party uh, games on Steam for a full sixty dollars. So I don't think somebody here is making a good move, and somebody is really freaking up here. Okay, so. Let me see, even though PlayStation reluctance to port PlayStation Studio produced games to PC, they say reluctant, but they did it a little quick. Immediately suggests users might not be able to play its games on every platform. This is offset by the fact that most people have more than one device that's capable of launching the streaming app. See, as we go further into the streaming world, I now no longer want to hear that a piece of hardware cannot run another piece of hardware's software. So it doesn't make any sense for your PlayStation 5 to not be able to play PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, even PlayStation 3 games, okay? Let alone PlayStation P, if, PSP, if we wanna add that in there, okay? So this just, a lot of this doesn't make any sense. Of course, all of this is speculation. We're not really sure if this deal is going to come to pass. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, if any of this is true, if any of this is real, I don't know what that's going to mean for so mean for Sony anyway, because just because you are able to bring the subscribers here does not mean that you're going to get them to play the games or access the service. You can bring a horse to water, but you can't make that mofo drink. Anyway, this has been your man Just Jay Sama. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. PlayStation really has a long way to go here, and I think they just don't have enough innovative thinkers. Uh, they really need to hire myself. You know, pay me a couple hundred thou. You know, just drop a couple of ideas, and then let's get this Netflix deal going, baby. I mean, you already got a bunch of games on Steam. You selling? You selling? You throwing it back, and don't even know it, Sony. So you're throwing it back. But anyway, I will catch you guys on the next one. Catch you later.